Hi, hello everyone, this is Tanguy from uh, H&T Wine Gallery. Hello everyone and welcome to our wine TV. We hope you enjoyed this episode and of course with a glass of wine. Cheers! So today I'm going to talk about uh, Spanish wine, uh, which comes from uh, the winery uh, Bodegas Cepa uh, 21 or Bodegas Cepa 21, and the name is uh, Hito. So this is a wine that comes from uh, Ribera del Duero uh, wine uh, region, uh, which is a wine region that is maybe not as famous as Rioja, uh, but this is definitely one of the, the, the best wines uh, from Spain that are produced in this uh, region. And it is located at the northern part of uh, Madrid and the southern part of the Rioja region, just to locate it a little bit. So this one represents really well what uh, Spain has to offer uh, the best, uh, with a very uh, round wine, uh, with uh, a very ripe flavors, very easy drinking, yet uh, a lot of uh, complexity and uh, very uh, nice uh, nuances. So this one is made with uh, Tempranillo uh, grape variety, uh, which is the most famous uh, grape variety in, uh, in Spain. So let's uh, try it, okay? Uh, so first of all, don't forget, of course, to uh, swirl your wine, to uh, liberate the aromas, to get the air a bit incorporated, and uh, get the, the wine really, uh, really uh, flavored, okay? So let's see what's on the nose. So you have definitely a very expressive bouquet, very nice bouquet. Well, I opened the bottle a, a bit earlier, I would say uh, maybe a half an hour earlier to, uh, to let the, the, the aromas develop. So it's very fruity, a lot of uh, red fruits uh, like uh, raspberries, uh, strawberries also. Definitely some aromas of uh, cherries also and then we turn to the, to the black uh, berries uh, like uh, black currants, um, a bit of oak also. Uh, this is coming from the oak aging, so this one uh, has been uh, aged in uh, French oak. Mm, very nice, so let's try it. Mm. Very nice flavors, uh, very round in the mouth. So the first attack is really fruity. As I mentioned, all those uh, fruits that we found on the nose, the blackberries, the raspberries, strawberries, it's like an explosion in the mouth. Very easy to drink, but very expressive also. There's also some uh, flavors of oak. Uh, this is well balanced, means um, it really represents well what Spanish has its best to offer. Why? Because the flavors are not um, unbalanced. There's no too high acidity not too much tannins. Uh, the tannins are here, but they're not so harsh, not too uh, powerful. Very in a finesse, in a subtle way of, of, uh, of definitely demonstrating the, the, the best out of this wine. Mm. And the finish, mm, very long, very um, lingering. Uh, we can uh, feel definitely the wine after swallowing it still in the mouth, it still gets all the, 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 the flavors inside your mouth, in your palate. It's very nice. So definitely to pair with this one, I recommend definitely a grilled meat, uh, like a beef, uh, like a very nice uh, grilled uh, ribeye or um, lamb chops. But definitely uh, it's a one that you can enjoy with a great uh, a Spanish tapas at its best, uh, paella or even uh, some uh, Spanish ham. Just uh, little slices of uh, Spanish ham with this one. It's a to-go pairing. So you can find this wine on our website, hntwinegallery.com. Uh, you can definitely uh, pair it with uh, some Serrano ham that we also uh, sell online. And uh, that will be a great pleasure uh, uh, that you will uh, definitely enjoy. So thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe to our channel on uh, YouTube and uh, see you next time for another wine feature. Thank you for watching this episode and don't forget to subscribe, like and share.